hello everyone and good day it is a friday and as usual by end of friday one of the notices bog gives is the government of ghana t-bill auction results so look we've had a ton of requests from students from industry participants from the general public who are asking okay so we see these auction results we hear these jargons being thrown out there and what have you um what is really this thing what is this whole thing about so today in less than 15 minutes what we'll try to do is to unpack this whole t-bill issuance by the bank of ghana or the government of ghana and then hopefully by the end of the discussion we 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 are anticipating you better understand and better appreciate what this auction is all about yes yeah, so we'll begin with the need for this issuance what at all is this about so very simple this is a way the government so in this case government of ghana raises money so mind you money could be raised from taxes from grants from quote and unquote loans now in terms of loans it could be from debt issuance right and in terms of debt issuance it could be from bonds or it could be from bills for now this discussion is debt issuance from bills okay and in terms of um, occurrence this happens every friday right so every friday is when government invites the, the general public to participate in this auction bidding process uh, where it raises money so yeah we'll dive deeper into that um, in a few minutes time now let me just start from the top obviously it's a public information so we have no problem what we see here boldly written here is the bank of ghana now what role does the bank of ghana play in all of this because we are seeing two main participants here the government of ghana and the bank of ghana so now the government of ghana is the borrower is the issuer as we call it in the finance space it is government of ghana that wants to raise the money but guess what government of ghana has its account certain with the bank of ghana banks also have their accounts certain with the bank of ghana so bank of ghana in this case is just someone or an institution who is helping government of ghana so the true name we will give to government of ghana is an issuer or the borrower government of ghana is the the risk participant here but bog or bank of ghana just plays uh, the chair of the entire auction process right now to the next paragraph which we see here as result of tender 1937 now because we said it's an auction process surely every auction would have a unique tender so this tender 1937 is just describing the number of auctions so it tells us that well, there's been 19,306 auctions up until now this makes it 19,300 uh, 1937 right now this auction was held on 10th january which was a friday right and it was held for government of ghana securities like i said build is just a conduit in this case now these securities as we see here are to be issued on 13th january so what's the difference here why is it being held on 10th january why is it being issued on 13th january so 10th January, if you want to buy a T-bill, any individual at all, is when your bank would go to BOG or go to Ministry of Finance or go to Bank of Ghana to say, look, I want to buy or I want to give you money. You can only do that on a Friday because that is when the auctions are held. Now, at the end of Friday, like we are seeing in front of us, the results will come out. And whether you won or you lost, you will know and you prepare yourself for the next business day, which happens to be a Monday, 13th January, where actual money will leave your account. So if you've noticed, you go to a bank to buy a T-bill, the bank would only debit you on Monday, 
um, sometimes early, sometimes very late, but it has to be done on Monday because that is when the settlement takes place. Okay, so yes, gradually we're walking through. Let's see what we have here now. This um, just beneath this, we have some weddings here. Now this we call it icing. Now you know with the government of Ghana securities, they come in three main tenets. So these are the types of securities here. It means that you can give your money to government for ninety one days. You can give your money to government for three sixty four day. You can sorry for one eighty two days, or you can give your money to government for three hundred and sixty four days. Right now. At this particular auction, the 91 day bill that was issued has a unique ID. Again, at this auction, this 182 day bill also has a unique ID. Same happens to the 364 day, which also has a unique ID. And that unique ID is what we call the ISIM. And this unique ID, when you even walk into a bank and you, you give this ID, to the treasury guys or to the to the bankers they can spool the system and then tell you that okay this icing as we see here is a 91 day bill that was issued on when 13th january they can tell you that because it's a unique identifier right now yes we know the various tenors for now we have just three tenors um, uh, for government of ghana issuances okay now we are still moving on gradually now we have here bits tended we said it's an auction so what this is saying is that for the 91 day bill investors submitted 5.5 billion worth of bits for the half year investors submitted 1.4 billion and for the one year investors submitted 1.1 billion that's government. This is the money I want to give you. Would you take? Would you leave it? We'll would get to know shortly, which is the next one, where we now see how much government accepted. So here we can see 5513.76 was submitted. 5513.76 was submitted. So here we say that there were no rejected bits. Everything tended in, we can see further, everything tended in was accepted. So there was no rejected bit. I mean, there's no gun to anyone's head. Government can actually reject. We saw that in the first auction for 2025 where about 20 million cities worth of bits were rejected. But in this particular instance, government did not reject any bits at all right okay so let's pause here let me just find some totals here so it is telling me that yeah almost a little over 8 billion was tended a little over 8 billion was accepted right we'll come back to this shortly now it's a it's a bidding process so somebody went for the auction bidding at a discount rate of 26.4301 that was the lowest and someone also bid at 26.4737 what government did was to accept somebody who bid low to accept somebody who bid high for the entire uh, bucket now these were the bits that were, were attended in now you move here and this is actually what was accepted so these bids are what investors accompanied so here are the interest rates or the discount rates that accompanied all the bets that were tended in now at the end of the auction obviously government accepted everything so it tells me that everything here was everything that was submitted everything here was everything that was submitted and fair enough there were no rejected bits now because t-bills are discount instruments right they are bid with a discount rate but not to worry this discount rate can be converted into equivalent interest rates and the reason this this allows us to compare interest rates so you can compare this interest rate to inflation you can compare it to monetary policy you can compare it to any annualized rate and it will make perfect sense right so what he's saying is that at the end of the auction government 
decided to pay these interest rates for the various tenants. So for the 91 day, this was it between 28.3 to 28.35, all the way through to the one year. Now to clean it up here, because here we have ranges. What government does or what BOG does is to find sort of a weighted average so we can all say, okay, this 91 day bill cleared at one interest rate as opposed to the range, which is 28.3385. The 182 cleared at 28.9642. The one year cleared at 30.1762. Right. So this is how you can understand the T bill. Uh, auction results and when you compare this to every week's auction then you can draw some conclusions you can draw some intuitions out of it right now we see here something as a target right so the target for the auction was 5.1 billion or let's say 5.2 billion but look at something the amount accepted or the issuance was 8 billion now this is where i'm sure you've heard about it where people say there was an over so it so here because the amount tended is greater than the target we say there was an over subscription by about 1.55 times so almost 160 percent over subscription and that's 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 good it tells us that investors are happy with giving money to government of ghana in cases where this amount accepted or this amount tended is lower than the target then we say there is an under subscription as well right so that's also important for you to understand what we mean by over and under subscription now the next line here we see was actually the results from the previous week's auction so what government does is that it summarizes what, what happened the week before so what happened the week before was that the investors tended in 5.39 billion and government accepted what 5.37 so this tells me that there were some bits rejected from last week it's obvious here 5.39 tended people decided to give 5.39 government say look no i'm not going to accept 5.39 i'm going to accept 5.37 billion right now this is sort of backward looking information now for forward looking information government again you realize the tender number here this is one one nine three eight this is one nine three seven so we are government is looking ahead to say that okay this week is done and dusted, but next week I will be looking at raising 6.35 billion, right? So yeah, we'll get to know what happens also on Friday, whether government is, will be able to meet this target or not. We'll just wait to see what will happen. But the purpose of this educative video is just to help you better understand these auction results and better appreciate them as well now maybe to the concluding lines we have here we are saying yes these gog securities are wholesale auction and open only to primary dealers right so these primary dealers are predominantly banks who are licensed to take your money as a client and then come and partake in the bidding right so this means that no individual can just walk up to bog and say look i've got two bucks uh, i've got two cities or i've got five cities that I want to give to government no you if you want to do that you have to go through the banks right okay so thank you very much um we hope you enjoyed this session as well and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to us uh, email linkedin twitter anywhere you find us please do uh, do well to reach out to us thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your evening